Hi there, Katie Snap from skirtstrategies.com and betterleadership.com, bringing you some answers to the questions that you might have about styles. You're thinking about doing some styles profiling, either for yourself or for your team. You're overwhelmed with what's out there. I can give you some advice. I'm going to simmer it down to some real basics based on my decades of experience with it, and I've been certified, profiled in, in many of them. So I have a nice overarching view of what's out there and how you might make your decision. So this is what that advice is for. Is it by all means the, the most accurate advice? To me it is, but there might be others out there that have a better fit for you. This is based on my broad experience, um, a summary of where you can start. All right. First of all, there's one category called the Myers-Briggs. You've probably heard of Myers-Briggs, and if your organization is thinking about that or you're thinking about that, cool. Highly valid, great psychometric measure, measures based on research. Myers-Briggs is a psychological profile. It's how you think, how you process information, how you process, in, uh, how you compartmentalize information, and how you integrate with other people in order to get that done. It's based on how you see yourself. And in that alone, although it's got great validity, there is a piece of that that's just, here's where I am and here's what I'm thinking and here's how I'm processing. Um, and so that's great, but I can't look at you and say, oh, you're an ENFP or you're an ISTJ, uh, unless you tell me. Now there's some aspects of it. I might see how you make decisions or I might think you're an introvert, extrovert, but, but even the introvert, extrovert measure has some, um, has some I, I can't tell by looking at you. Um, because there's some people that look like they're outgoing extroverts, but they're really actually introverts. They're exhausted by interacting. So that's Myers-Briggs, and it's useful for that type of approach. The whole other category has to do with the styles piece of um, how you interact with others, not necessarily where the, where the thought process is. Um, and this is an overgeneralization because there's a, a lot of products out there in the second category, but generally how you are seen as um, integrating with others and influencing them is probably a better way of saying it. So of those that are out there, there are things like Traycom, Wilson, uh, DISC, um, and they have Berkman. Berkman is one. I've been profiled in every single one of those. Um, TDI is one. Um, and, and they have great research behind them. Most of them are based on true research from the 20th century sometime, um, and they've just been incorporated into some sort of an assessment. I like a lot of them. Here's where I think some of them excel more than others. Wilson, Wilson Learning's uh, Social Style Management, although it's expensive, it does give you a reading of not just where you see yourself, but where five others see you, right? Isn't that valuable? Because if I think of myself as a puppy dog, but five other people tell me, oh, Katie, you're really a lion. Hugely important information. And about 18% of people are that far off from seeing themselves um, adequately. And about 75% of people are at least a little bit off in seeing themselves than, than the rest of the world sees them. So it gives you that piece because honestly, if I'm going to be a team or I'm going to be a leader or I'm going to be effective at what I do, I ha I don't, it doesn't, it's not that it doesn't matter how I see myself, it's that it is almost more important to know how others see me, okay? The other reason I like Wilson Learning is it has a high validity, huge database, and um, it also measures your versatility, which is the degree to which you're perceived by others as meeting their needs and expectations, and, and versatility is a good thing. Um, DISC, based on the same basic measures and um, and when I say that, I'm not saying it as a scientist. So those of you that are listening to me are like, no, that's not exactly it at all. In, in my world, this is the basic breakdown of it. You're looked at how you influence through either telling or asking. You know, you're, you're straightforward or you're more of a, a gentle, in, indirect person. And the degree to which you do that influencing is either on a task scale or on a people scale. So you're either a task person or a people person. And even just me saying that, you know what I'm talking about. You know, a task person has, has more emotionally controlled and um, a, a people person is more emotionally effusive. So you see them, they wear their heart out on the sleeve or they, they say what they're, they're feeling. These other people say what they're thinking. Um, and so those basic two measures are in a lot of the instruments that are, a lot of the instruments that are out there. Some of them, like um, Berkman, my own take on it when I took it, 
very complex, uh, based on great research, terrific if you can spend a lot of time learning the model, but you get this measure, then you get this measure, and then you get this measure, and by the time you walk out of the workshop, you know, you're overwhelmed. So my recommendation is this. If you're looking for something that's going to help a team work better together, based on how you see yourself and how you uh, others perceive you, then find an instrument that has that outside measure as well, and, and most of them do not. Um, I have my own instrument as well because I have a technical engineering background. I actually created an algorithm that is based on how others perceive you. So you get five other measures. You get where those five data points are and the average of those, plus where you are yourself. And it's on that simple two-axis model that um, DISC uses and, and Wilson use that's so easy to remember. Now people have the language, and the language is common. So when you use, you know, the ask to help, everyone knows what you're talking about. So my recommendation is if you have the budget for Wilson, go for it. If you have the budget for, for DISC, which is still expensive and maybe half, half the, the, the expense of, of Wilson, plus you've also got the facilitation charge of Wilson. So you have to think about that and there's, you know, negotiation that can go on in between all this. Um, or you've got the self-assessment that, that I do that comes also with a, a two-page report where you identify yourself on a model and with mine you get the five others so you get how you're perceived by others as well as how you see yourself and then the average of those five others. Hmm, I think any of it is worthwhile. I love it. Um, it's usually just a function of who needs it. If you're a bunch of PhDs and you want to have something that's used worldwide, You'd use something like Berkman or uh, or Tracom or 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 LDI, you know those they they're all great. They um, just vary a little bit. So that's my summary. And if you want to hear more about the one that I do, absolutely get in touch with me at Katie at SkirtStrategies.com or Katie at Better-Leadership.com. I'm glad to give you a quote on what it would cost. Okay, hope that helps. Bye.